Welcome to Scrapper's Detailing. I'm Scrapper and in today's episode I have a 2013 Honda Fit that is in really rough shape. The name of the vehicle is perfect because I'm shocked at how much garbage and dirt the owner fit into it. Haha <laughs> Scrapper, I see what you did there. You're so funny. I know little man. I'm practically a stand-up comedian. After removing the seats it was apparent that this vehicle hadn't been cleaned in quite some time. I took time to remove every single piece of garbage the owner left. People always seem to leave lots of food items in their vehicles. And that leads me to this week's question. Have you ever left a partially eaten food item in your vehicle, forgotten about it, and then found it at a much later date? At least the owner of this vehicle eats somewhat healthy. I found lots of raisin boxes and protein shakes. I also took the time to clean out the glove box. Now, I don't usually do this, but I noticed how completely full of stuff it was. So I thought it would give them a chance to go through these items and eliminate what they really don't need. Once the garbage was removed, I used the tornador to blow out the trim and make things a little easier on myself. Then I proceeded to vacuum each of the footwells. The front wells were very dirty, but the rear wells only took a short time. I can understand why. There really isn't much legroom in the rear area, so I can't imagine the owner has too many people riding back there. The front seats from this fit were in pretty bad shape. You'll notice some spots that look black. Now those aren't stains, but places where the color was worn off the fabric. They aren't too noticeable when it's dirty. They are much more obvious once I remove all the dirt and stains from the surrounding fabric though. I think the blue in the seats really popped once it was clean.
The back of this passenger seat had a medium level of dirt on it, but it did have one tough stain that I had to get out. I tried my cleaning solution and even the steamer, but it didn't want to budge. But I just told myself, We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? Gotta keep our composure! So I did, and I decided to try out some super clean diluted about 4 to 1 on it, and after a couple of attempts, the stain came out almost completely. I've got the super clean and the steamer both linked in the description below. It won't cost you any extra to buy through those links, but the channel will receive a small commission that will go to help me cover the cost of my wife's purse addiction. Well, I said earlier that it didn't seem like anyone sat in the back seat because the floors were pretty clean. Uh, but by the looks of this back seat, that's because they spilled everything onto the seat itself instead of onto the floor. But no worries, my cleaning process got them looking new again. While I was vacuuming, I noticed that the carpet almost wasn't carpet. It had been worn down so much over the years that all that was really left in many spots was just the mesh fabric that held it together. So I focused my efforts on the two areas that are the dirtiest, the driver's footrest and the middle area in the rear. You'll see that neither spot produced much in regard to dirt. There's just no fabric to hold onto the fill. The carpets were bad and the floor mats were of below average quality, but other than the hole worn in the driver's mat, they've held up well over the years. But they don't have much of a pile, so they trap the dirt and salt deep down in the fibers. And without my pressure washer, it was a struggle to get it all removed. I'm a trooper though, and I pushed through to get them as clean as I possibly could. I'll clean the door with Car Pro inside diluted about 4 to 1. My soft detail brush foams up the solution nicely, lifting all the grime from the plastic. On the fabric part of the door, I'll use my Scrub Ninja pad to loosen up the dirt and grime. I was shocked to see how much dirt came off on the microfiber towel. You can see how important the forced air is to make sure the door is completely dry. There was a spot under the door lock that started to run and would have been a problem later if I hadn't used that tool.
The center console was covered in dust and hair. I make sure to use a small screwdriver to lift the plastic cover under the emergency brake since there was some grime stuck in the crevice. The shifter was also very dirty. This is where a machine like the steamer is so invaluable. It allows me to blow out the tight lines in the trim that get packed with dirt. Now I could use a small scraping tool to remove some of it, but then I also run the risk of damaging the trim. The seat rails are another great spot for the steamer. I start out with some more Car Pro inside and let that dwell for a time. Then I come along with the steamer and blast off any dirt, dust, and even grease that is attached to the metal. I finish it with some forced air to make sure everything is clean and dry. The steamer is a great tool, but it can't remove everything. There was some kind of white adhesive attached to this passenger side rail that the steamer was able to partially remove, but I had to bring in the big gun. The goof off adhesive remover. This stuff is very strong, so I only bring it out when it's absolutely necessary. One thing that I have not shown before is cleaning of the door jams. Since I'm not able to work on exteriors right now, I still like to make sure the door jams are clean. There's just something about opening your doors and being greeted by a clean and shiny door jam that makes me feel like the vehicle is completely clean. I spray the jams with some quick detail and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. It's an easy step, but one that I feel goes a long way with impressing the client. With the trim all cleaned, it's time to restore it and give it some UV protection. My product of choice is 303 Aerospace Protectant. It's an easy product to use as you just spray some on a microfiber applicator and wipe down all your surfaces. It restores and protects your plastic and vinyl. I'll finish by cleaning the glass. My squeegee game is almost perfection. Even though this vehicle is almost 10 years old, it cleaned up incredibly well. Other than the faded spots on the seats, it could fit right in on the showroom floor. If you found the video satisfying, go ahead and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.